Good morning, Kilborn. This is your WKHS News for Friday, November 8th, 2019. I'm Lizzie Mejia. Today we'll be talking about TikTok, the food review, and the new band Ohio Fog. Your WKHS News starts now. Good morning, I'm Kendall Timms. And I'm Amaya Harris. Kendall, have you heard about the app called TikTok? Yes, I'm literally on it every night for like three hours. Me too, I make them all the time. Celeste and Josie talk to students who wish they could be TikTok famous. Many students at Kilbourne are recently obsessed with a new app called TikTok. Several students have become TikTok famous and talk about their experience. How did you get famous off of this app? Um, I pranked my mom. I put a fake, like, broken TV wallpaper on the screen and then told her that the TV was broken and she freaked out on me a little bit. Hey, Mom, I think I might have broken the TV. Oh, I mean... Through my remote app when I was playing Xbox. And then zoom into like the. What's wrong with you? Because we'll have music. Hey Joey, you're paying for this. I don't really think I'm famous, but like I just made like stupid videos. How has it influenced your school experience? Um, it hasn't. Literally nothing's changed. Okay, like people will be like, "Ew, TikTok," and like stuff like that. So like, I guess people in school kind of think it's like weird or something or like funny I guess but it hasn't really like changed anything like with schoolwork. Do you think TikTok is leading up to be the most popular social media platform? Um maybe I mean it has the same like idea as Vine and Vine I know is huge so it might grow into something like that. Um yeah I think so like I don't know if it already is or not but it has like 800 million users already so like a lot of people are using it and like most people nowadays like have it like whether they post videos or not, they like have it to watch videos, so yeah. Um, I enjoy making TikToks because I think they're funny and it's just like something me and like the girls do. Um, to get TikTok famous, I just plan on producing as much content as possible. So right now I have about 300 followers, which like isn't as much as Michael Flynn and Davis Bailey, like other famous TikTokers in our school. But I'm still looking to like get big, I'm posting content and stuff, so just make sure you hit me with the follow. Over the past two years, TikTok has gained a billion downloads, surpassing every other social media app, clearly showing it is the most prominent app of our generation. This has been Josie Richardson, Celeste Selma, WKHS News. This year, Bluff Sioux Elementary School won the National Blue Ribbon Award. Kendall, isn't that where you went to elementary school? Yeah, in sixth grade, our archery team won the state tournament. ComTech students Jeremy and Mitchell tell you about Bluff Sioux's latest accomplishment. Blussview Elementary School has won the National Blue Ribbon Award and students at WKHS who attended Blussview are excited to hear that Blussview is creating a positive environment for future classes. There were 362 schools recognized across the nation in 2019. Blussview is one of 14 schools in Ohio to be recognized. The National Blue Ribbon Award recognizes a variety of schools based on their overall academic excellence or their progress in closing achievement gaps among student subgroups in America. We were able to talk to WKHS students who attended Blussview Elementary School about their experience. Do you think Blussview is worthy of the Blue Ribbon Award? Yeah, the staff is super supportive and helpful, and I think they always just make sure you do your best. Do you think Blussview influenced how you are today? Uh, yes, I think that the staff was very supportive, uh, friendly, welcoming, and that they made Blussview feel like a family. Who are your favorite teachers at Blussview? Uh, the math EPP teacher, Mr. A, and probably the sixth grade science teacher, Mr. McGuire, because he was really helpful and they always pushed me to be my best. What's one of your favorite memories from Bluffview? One of my favorite memories from Bluffview is being an EPP with Mr. Amstutz and getting to build and program robots. Altogether, Bluffview Elementary School has created a very positive environment for students and we're excited to see them win the Blue Ribbon Award. 
This has been Mitchell Neiman's Rodriguez and Jeremy Zitkiss, WKHS News. The Ohio Fog Punk Band, made up of all Kilbourne sophomore boys, is thriving, and they have a concert tonight at their house, so make sure to come out. Caden and Jack tell us more about this rising band. Ohio Fog is a punk band consisting of some of our very own Kilbourne students. Um, I came up with the name when I was watching a TV show called Mad Men, and in it they talked about a brand called London Fog, and I thought that sounded pretty cool. So I pitched it to my other friends in the band, and they said no. So I was like, what about Ohio Fog? They're like, all right. So our main inspirations are basically Blink-22 and Green Day, and then some more modern acts like the 1975 and uh, Spray So Far. I've been into rock and stuff since I was a kid, and I've always liked playing it, and I've liked, I like bands like Blink-182, Green Day, and ACDC, and, you know, those kind of bands, and, yeah. Um, I think I listen to a different music from Austin and Ozzy, especially. I, I still like uh, punk music. I listen to it, especially when I need to get ideas for drum parts. Uh, I like to listen to Blink-182. Um, uh, what's modern ones? Like Story So Far, stuff like that, if I need to try to think of how can I make this drum part work for this song, how can I incorporate something else differently. But I listen to a lot of hip-hop, and I listen to a lot of, I guess, reggae too, so I mix that in there and I kind of change things up from how we would typically do it. Many bands do cover songs, but Ohio Fog also writes originals. Um, so if we're coming up with an original, um, the guitar part and typically the bass part, Austin writes, uh, he just messes around with that at home. and. Lyrics, sometimes I write lyrics, sometimes he writes lyrics. Ozzy might start, but as so far, he hasn't. And then we get together, we practice, we, they look at the tabs, they try to play it out, and I basically just listen for what can I put in here. Ohio Fog has a show tonight at 914 Lost Valley Road. Doors open at 630. Jack Wasick, Caden Doherty, WKHS News. Ramen noodles are a very popular at-home snack and are now here at Kilbourne. Tommy and Brindley review the new ramen noodle bar downstairs. The school cafeteria has recently implemented a new ramen bar. Debuting last Friday, it featured a choice of rice or noodles. You could also choose between chicken or beef to go on top. There was a assortment of vegetables you could add, including jalapenos, cilantro, spinach, corn, cucumbers, and carrots. We asked some WKHS juniors to review the new ramen bar. What did you think of the ramen? Um, you know, I think it was okay. It tastes like chicken noodle soup a bit. I thought it was pretty good. It was a little cold when I got it, but in general the flavor was pretty nice and I liked it a lot. How can the ramen be improved? They could make it less cold. Uh, I think they need to switch with the noodles because they weren't really ramen noodles. Um, like I said earlier, it was like kind of cold, but I also have 7th lunch, so maybe just like making sure it stays heated until 7th. This has been your WKHS News. Tonight and tomorrow is the Silent Sky Theater production starting at 7.30. Make sure you check out our website where we have a variety of stories and our newest one is about Veterans Day. Thanks for watching. Have a fun, safe week in Kilbourne. <laughs>